Hello there. Welcome back to Life Coaching with Lauren and Achieving Your Dream Life. As we explained before, it's what's important to you. Now we talked about, we had an introduction. We talked about life coaching, what it is and what counseling is and what mentoring is and how you can try to work together. Today, I'm going to tell you a little bit about how it's changed my life. Ten years ago, I trained as a life coach. And since then, I have been working with incredible, inspirational people um, from all over the world, on Skype and over the phone, helping me to create my dreams and helping me to create a realistic dream. So, initially, we have this passion. So my passion was to have this theatre company called Moving On Theatre. That's the big dream. You start off with this massive dream where you want to be, I want to be performing everywhere, singing, acting, doing what I love. Now that can't be created in a day, not usually. So what we do with life coaching is we learn how to achieve it by being very realistic and having the steps to get there. And for that, we use a model. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about the Tigro model. Don't always think that you have to use this all the time because we're all different. But I'm, today I'm just going to give you a general idea of what the t grow model is. T is the topic or the dream. So like I say, you have this big dream. You may want to retire and have a, a villa in Spain. Okay, so that's your big dream. You may want to pass your driving test. That's your big dream. You get the gist. The topic is the big dream. The second is the, the G, which is the goal. Your goal is what I would like you to go away with at the end of the session. So, for example, you've got half an hour session. I say to you, what would you like to achieve by the end of this session that is bringing you closer to achieving that villa in Spain, that giving up smoking, that being, uh, you know, having an easier relationship with your children, whatever. And that's what you say. You say, well, by the end of this session, I would like to achieve more understanding about um, properties in Spain, for example. That is up to you. That's your goal for the session. You have half an hour. And we don't always set that. It's not always cut in stone. Again, it depends on the person, but it's nice to know that we have some kind of structure. The next thing we have is the reality and the resources, okay? And that is when I ask you, what support system have you got? Have you got people supporting you? So say you want to move to Spain. Uh, have you got people you can talk to about? Um, is your husband or your partner or your children, are they supporting you with moving to Spain and buying a villa? What about money? This is all about pulling in your resources and your reality. Okay, because as I said to you, it's all about being grounded in reality. Okay, so then we move on to options. And we make a list of all the different ways that we can find out how we're going to achieve this goal. And that's the fun bit, because your mind starts to open up. And it's like brainstorming. You get out a piece of paper and you're writing down, oh, I'd love to move, and I'd like to move maybe in a year, or I can get money from here, or whatever. It doesn't matter. You're writing and writing, and it's all coming out, and your mind's opening up, okay? And then you've got the, the W, which is your willingness. And this to me is the most important part of the session because you're committing to yourself and to your life coach what you're gonna do by the next session. And you can make a list and say, well, I'm gonna do these five actions or three actions. One, I'm going to go on the internet and I'm going to check out villas in Spain. It doesn't matter, you come up with the actions and, 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 and the willingness is there on paper. And your life coach will say to you, okay then Lauren, or okay, whoever it is we're coaching, um, okay, so you're gonna go on the internet when? And you give a date, a time, and that's your commitment to your life coach, okay? And that, when you come back for the next session with that life coach, they will make you accountable for that and ask you if you did it. If you did it, that's brilliant. They will look at that. If you didn't do it, that's no problem at all because you're working towards this, okay? You're willing to do it and that's a big thing. And that's the T-Grow model. 
Now on the other side, interestingly enough, um, the right side of the brain, I don't know why I did that, but also because the right side of the brain is the creative, because everyone is different, when you do your intake session or your assessment with your coach, they may decide to work differently because their intuition will kick in. And once they start to get to know you, they may think, well, actually, Lauren doesn't work very well with structure. How about we just see what happens? So we say, okay, your dream is, boom, um, I want to be win the lottery. Fine, there's your dream. Okay, but maybe we don't set a goal for the session. We just explore, okay? And that, again, will work beautifully. And I can promise you that when the coach says to you after the end of your session, have you achieved what you wanted? Are you any closer to your goal? They will say yes, because somehow their mind will have opened up a little bit and they will be closer to their goal. So that's it. So today we've discussed the tree grow, tea grow model and we've also discussed intuition and create a creative way of coaching, which is more right-sided and interestingly enough, I did actually do that and that I didn't plan to, but it happened. And in the next session, when I come back again, in the next episode, we will be actually watching life coaching session. But before I go, I just need to say one thing. Life coaching is about passion. If you don't have any passion, then you can't achieve your dreams. If you have passion, it's more important than money and support, it's more important than anything. Believe me, because I started with nothing and I still don't have a lot of money, but I'm running my own TV station. When you are passionate and you believe in your heart that that's what you want, you can achieve anything. So I would recommend you get this book, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. It's a wonderful book and it's basically written by an amazing guy that talks about passion and persistence and focus. Because without passion, persistence and focus, you cannot achieve your dreams. There'll always be a comfort zone that you'll be stuck in, or there'll always be, oh, uh, I had to do this, I had to do that. Your life coach will always make you accountable for being there at least once a week or once every two weeks to do the session with them because you won't move on if you don't do that it's not about money it's not always about money it's about your passion your commitment your focus your tenacity which is much more important believe me coming from someone who runs moving on theater and now has started a tv station Passion is everything. It will get you out of bed in the morning. And I'll leave you with another little thought. The past is history. The future a mystery. The present is a gift. We unwrap it with glee. So that's what life coaching is. It's focusing in the present. Focusing in the present. That's what it is. We let go of the past. We don't worry about the future. It'll take care of itself. We're in this moment. And I hope you're in this moment with me with a lot of passion. I look forward to speaking to you in the next episode where we will be coaching someone in front of you and showing you an intake session. Thank you.